Good guys, your mighty Iris Tao here. Welcome to the Godox Light Modifiers 101. Today we are going to discuss the light modifier, Beauty Dish. Stand reflector is a hard light source. It might bring out more skin texture, such as wrinkles. On the other hand, Beauty Dish comes with two parts, the dish and the plate. The plate acts as a big reflector, which mainly are still harsh light source. The magic happens when the dish is attached. The light is reflected by the dish back to the plate and further reflected by the plate back to the subject. As a result, the beauty dish delivers a very particular look. The light output mixes soft light at the center part with harsh light at the edge. With the double reflected soft light, the beauty dish delivers a unique beauty look soft highlights and a well-defined shadow. As a smaller light source with double diffusion, the beauty dish delivers unique look comparing with softbox and umbrella which delivers soft light. We can add grid to control the spread of light. For example, we want to control the spill on the background or on the model. White beauty dish outputs lower contrast, the transition between highlight and shadow is smoother. Silver beauty dish outputs higher contrast, brighter highlights and deeper shadow, more emphasis on the skin details and of course the wrinkles. Plus, silver beauty dish increase your light outputs about one stop. If I'm shooting portrait in general, especially with different age group, I would use white beauty dish because it's more forgiving on their skin. But sometimes if I want to emphasize on the bone structure or the muscle definition, I would go for the silver beauty dish. If I find the light output is too contrasty for my taste, I can always add the soak to further diffuse the light. This would soften the highlight as well as the shadow. Place the beauty dish relevantly close to your subjects to deliver soft light. A good starting point would be around 55cm for a 55cm beauty dish. Make sure you point to the center of the beauty dish towards your subject's face as the center delivers the soft light. This is quite different from how we use the softbox or umbrella, which we usually prefer to use the edge light. In this image, you can instantly see how the light builds highlight around her cheekbones and casts shadows around her cheek. If you think the shadow is too deep for your taste, add a reflector to leave the shadows. Notice in the one light setup, the light starts to fall off from the chest below. Use fill light would get rid of the shadow if you are aiming for a beauty look. Reflector would do the job, but a second light would offer you a way more freedom to control the fill light output. You can also add soak to further smooth the transition between highlight and shadow. Add grade if you want to control the light spread or you want more rapid light force on your subject. If you move the beauty dish further than a meter away, the beauty dish becomes relevantly small and outputs a slightly harsh light source. It can sometimes work in our favor for example, to mimic the softened sunlight, yet still make the skin glow. Godox offers one-stop solution for all your photography needs. From flash, LED lights, to light stands, and of course, a wide range of modifiers. They've definitely thought of everything. Would you like a free gift? Godox is giving away a product every episode for your chance to win. 
All you need to do is answer the following question in the comments below. Which beauty dish would you choose? Would you attach grid or socks on it? For what kind of photo shoots do you do, such as portrait, fashion, or product? Comment your answer below and tell us why. Also, be sure to like and subscribe for more tutorials. Thank you so much for watching. This is your mind Aristotle. I will see you till next time.